Hi friends, welcome back to Kitchen Princess Bamboo Japanese Everyday Food. Today, I will share with you how to make shokpan, fluffy Japanese white bread. Shokpan is one of the staple Japanese bread that you can find at any grocery store. Probably the most eaten bread in Japan. Shokpan comes in two types of shapes one is square, and the other comes in the rounded top like a mountain. And it comes in varieties of thickness. Squared one is more moist and dense compared to mountain shape because we bake it with the lid. The moisture stays in the dough. Mountain shape shok pan is lighter in texture, perfect for toast. We'd like to eat shok pan at breakfast, toasted, served with butter almost all the time. Sometimes we make a sandwich with shok pan. The recipe is very basic as a daily bread and you will definitely love it. Let's get started. Put the flour into a mixing bowl. Add sugar, salt, and yeast while mixer is running. Add lukewarm water, slow and steady stream. Knead for 6 to 7 minutes until the dough forms thin layer when it's stretched. Add creamed butter. The dough should come back together after 3 to 4 minutes. The dough becomes very elastic and stretchy when finished mixing. Grease the mixing bowl. Shape your dough into a nice round bowl. Place the dough into the greased bowl. Cover with a piece of plastic. Let it rise at a warm place for 40 to 45 minutes. Punch out the carbon dioxide from in the dough, shape into a bowl again, and get it back to the bowl. Now it's time to second rising. Leave it for 30 minutes until the dough rises double in volume. It looks perfect. However, we have to check the fermentation process went properly by sticking your dusted finger. If the hole you have just created remain as it is, the procedure is perfect. If the hole is shrinking, it was a little bit too early. But don't worry, we can make it up on the final fermentation. Take out the dough onto floured working surface. Divide the dough into four. Shape it into a nice round, cover with plastic, and let it sit for 10 minutes. Let's shape the dough to fit the mold. Take one dough and flip it over. With your rolling pin, spread the dough until it stretches to one centimeter thick. Fold in two thirds way down the dough, then fold the bottom to the upper edge. Rotate the dough 90 degrees angle, roll up the dough with tucking and stretching motion to make the surface smooth. Pinch to seal the end. Before putting it in the mold, check the direction of the dough. What I mean by that is this. The left side of the dough should roll to the left, and the right side of the dough should roll to the right. In this way, the dough will fully rise in the oven beautifully. Make sense? Cover with plastic and let it rise for the final fermentation. It takes 45 to 50 minutes, depends on the temperature. For the squared shape, when the dough rises 1 cm below the upper edge, it's time to bake. Set the lid and pop into the oven for 35 minutes. For mountain shape, let it rise 1 cm over the upper edge. Pop it in the oven for 35 minutes. In the halfway, cover with aluminum foil to avoid burning. Take out onto the wire rack and leave until it comes to room temperature. For the mountain shape, brush soften butter to make it shine. Looks so good! Freshly baked bread is so fluffy and moist. I wanna taste it as it is. This is my homemade butter from leftover fresh cream. It has a wonderful flavor. Basically, we live on rice, so we love the moist texture. This is a typical Western-style Japanese breakfast. My family prefer Japanese style. 
To be honest with you, this is my everyday lunch. Why not? I hope you will give it a try. Thank you for watching the video. Please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. For more information and written recipe, please go to my website princessbamboo.com. For the kitchen tools and ingredients, check my store on Amazon. I listed a good amount of the ingredients and other stuff with a really good deal to save your time and money. You don't have to buy any at my store, but you can make your own shopping list before you go to your grocery store. Thanks again and see you in a week. Bye!